this backup quarterback thing is is um, is is interesting because a lot of us thought that Malik Willis were just was just gonna start falling back, but he's fighting, he's fighting, and I appreciate that more than ever. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the TA show. You cannot spell Titans without putting that TA in it. You guys, this quarterback battle has been crazy. Um, everybody knows this is the last year for Ryan Tannehill, um, barring a Super Bowl victory, I assume. <laughs> um, even then, who knows, right? Um, but, um, you know, the back of quarterback battle has been pretty interesting. Um, with the Titans trading up and grabbing Will Levis in the second round uh, in the 2023 NFL Draft, it's um, it was almost uh, pretty much written in stone. It, it it seemed like Will Levis was automatically going to be penciled in as the backup, and um, now you're starting to see things at camp, um, you know, at practice and stuff that Malik Willis is over there, pretty much doing things the right way. Um, He's taking everything seriously. He looks good. He looks in shape out there. Um, you know, his deep ball looks a lot better. His footwork is, um, to me, still iffy from from the videos that I've seen. Uh, and shout out to Jim Wyatt. Check out Jim Wyatt. Um, Kayla Anderson's a good one as well. Uh, Teron Davenport. Um, those three are top-notch Titans people. If you guys want to check them out, check them out. They're uh, definitely worth it. But, um, yeah, this backup quarterback situation, I think it's a good one for us. Um, it's only going to drive competition and make it that much harder uh, for everybody to earn their spot, earn their keep. Um, now, the Tennessee Titans obviously are a run-first football team, but um, I'm expecting Ryan Tannehill to really come out with, you know, all guns blazing. Like, if he was going to war back in the day, you know, you have a shield and sword. He's going out there with two swords. He's going to go out there and just throw the ball and do everything he can to win because he knows this may, this could be the last opportunity Tannehill has at possibly getting a ring. Now, a lot of people are probably sitting there saying, yeah, right, Titans aren't ready for that. Blah, blah, blah. Look, the Tennessee Titans were 7-3 and three before the injuries started piling up. 7-3, and three, getting ready to run away with this shit. The defense is healthier and a lot better. Okay. The quarterback uh, situation is going to be a lot better as well. Um, nothing against Dobbs, but um, you know he, his. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone saw that interception on the last on on um on that last game. Oh my God, the arm strength was like, what did he throw the ball 30 yards through the air? Jesus, on that interception, that was terrible. So the fact that we have a a quarterback in Levis who brings uh, energy, passion, emotion, um, you know, f- some physically. Uh, amazing gifts to the table same with uh, Malik Willis he's quicker than a bug he's so fast out there and he's got an arm as well um I think his issues were more mental not not really being ready for that the NFL speed um again man make sure you guys hit that like button comment subscribe in the comment section below man let me know what you guys think about everything going on right now with the Titans quarterback situation again Ryan Tannehill I think Ryan Tannehill Tannehill can go out there and have a great season, especially if we go out and get DeAndre Hopkins. If we go out and get DeAndre Hopkins, you guys, we get a pair of him with a Traylon Burks who looks like he's ready to explode. And who better to learn from than D Hop, who's done it all, who's done it all. And I still feel like he's got a lot left in the tank, at least enough to, to hang in there with Derrick Henry. Um, Again, man, I hope we extend Eric Henry. That's that's a whole nother topic uh, for another day. Um, but yeah, these quarterbacks, it's um, it was weird because uh, um, from what I've seen, Ryan Tannehill looks great out there. Uh, he looks pretty much completely healthy, um, and I'm excited to see him go this year. I didn't want it, want him to be the quarterback again. I was over it, um, but at this point, we're just gonna have to let him play it out. We're gonna have to let him play it out and um, let, let the chips fall where they may. I think I think um, as long as we stay healthy, there. I really feel like we should have no problem winning the AFC South. I know the Jaguars in, are improved. The Jaguars are going to get Calvin Ridley um, uh, back, and to be honest, from everything that I've seen, I've seen a lot of his, um, 
you know, his workout videos and, and some of his camp stuff. And he looks great, great footwork. You know, he's known as a route runner as well. So it's like, damn, we got another guy to worry about. Uh, you know, the Jags, um, the Jags should be a little bit more improved as well. Uh, with Trevor Lawrence starting to step into his own, which is only going to be another issue. But um, again, the Tennessee Titans, quarterbacks, Tannehill, boom, locked in number one. But that backup spot, you guys, is really up for grabs. It really is up for grabs. Now, a lot of these people and analysts that are reporting Malik Willis is automatically going to be that, like, he, he looks like he, or not really automatically, but most guys are saying he looks like he's going to uh, go and, and kind of get into that uh, second spot. He's, he's leading the backup role right now. I told everybody, look, I want to wait and see until people are trying to take his head off. Nobody's trying to tackle him right now. Nobody's trying to lay a hit on him. We're on the same team. It's practice. I want to see him not get um, skittish. I don't want to see happy feet. I don't want to see none of that. I want to see him stand in the, the pocket, take hits if he has to. I want to see him uh, m- m- showing maturity by throwing the ball away, uh, by trusting his God-given abilities, and that's running the football without second-guessing himself i saw it so many times last season when he was at in at quarterback where he could have taken off and just gone and he stopped and and hesitated just for a split second and then boom he ends up getting a few yards when he could have gotten 70 80 yard touchdown probably so little things like that i want to see malik willis do during the game against ops against other people other opponents i want to see that it's good sign right now though to see that his his mentality work ethic everything is there especially when we drafted Will Levis, it's automatically like, oh shit, we got another guy ready to fight and, and, and try to compete. I want to know what you guys think. I wanted to start Will Levis week one, but look at, let's just be honest. Tannehill is booked in, you know, unless there's an injury and God forbid, um, you know, I, I don't wish injury upon nobody, not even nobody. I, I hope Tannehill goes out there and has a great season. I hope, I hope uh, he leads us to another AFC South championship. And I, I hope to have another opportunity at trying to win win a Super Bowl. Um, a lot of people think the Titans have no chance. If we stay healthy, we'll have a chance. But our draft picks have to do well, and the guys coming back from injury have to do well. Elijah Mitchell didn't play much. You got to get him going, man. He's really good when he plays. Amani Hooker, really good when he plays. You know what I mean? Uh, Danico Autry, got to stay healthy because when he plays difference maker, difference maker and Harold Landry gets to come back oh my oh my can you imagine the chip on his shoulder right now how hungry and excited he is to be out there with his brothers and getting out there and doing work who's more excited than him and actually who's more excited than Kevin Byard because he's going to get all his guys back and more it's going to be exciting, you guys. Arden Key's going to be there. Can you imagine? I can't wait to see Arden Key out there. The swag's there. He's going to fit in perfectly. Rashad Weaver is going to only going to be that much better, in my opinion. This team could be a really, really good defensive team for sure. We have the best punter in the league. There's no debate. Kicking, eh, I think we should just either go for it or... Or, or punt, you know, because Stonehouse, you know, greatest punter in history after his rookie season. He's that good. Um, man, this backup quarterback, uh, this backup quarterback thing is is, um, is is interesting because a lot of us thought that Malik Willis were just was just going to start falling back. But he's fighting. He's fighting. And I appreciate that more than ever. But what I really, really, really want to see, I want to see the improvement during the games. I want to see him go out there and make guys miss without second guessing himself. Don't think of it. Just go and play. Go have fun. Go learn. Get better. We'll see what happens. Maybe he goes out there and just dominates. You know what I'm saying? But right now we got we've got three capable quarterbacks. I truly believe that. We ain't got a Patrick Mahomes on the roster right now. I mean, we don't know what Will Levis is. Maybe he could be. Maybe he could be something of that caliber. It'd be nice. But right now we got to, we just got to take it one day at a time. And to be honest, our main thing is staying healthy. Gotta stay healthy. If we stay healthy, you guys, I don't I have no doubt in my mind the AFC South is ours. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think will be the backup quarterback going into this season behind Ryan Tannehill? Because Tannehill got the starting spot on lock. No key. 
I think it's going to be Will Levis. I'm hoping Malik Willis does show improvement. I do because he's got so much talent, man. He does. I just think that Will Levis, man, he he's I think he's ready to go, honestly. He's not he's like what is he 24 years old? I think he's ready to go. Um but sitting a year behind Ryan Tannehill just to get his feet wet a little bit and learn is going to be huge for this kid's developmental. It's going to be huge for his development, I'm telling you. I think Ryan Tannehill is going to be a great leader, uh, mentor to this guy, and uh, both of them, um, because he because Ryan Tannehill knows it's his team until it's not, until he fucks it up and loses it. That's on him. <laughs> our uh, our light just went out. We're gonna have to charge it. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the Tennessee Titans' offense going forward? The defense, everything, right? The backup quarterback situation. Comment section below. It's going to be an interesting season, you guys, and I'm back for it. Tighten up, Code Blue Cyclops swag. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. Ah.